Are we recording? We're recording now. Okay, so we're recording. We're up. We're live. Um, you know, I'd I'd really, uh, you know, I wish you guys would take it more serious and have like an actual in in house producer like I do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just saying, you know. So, but Bubba types very slowly, <laughs> <laughs> and he only chases mice. Well, the thing is, I I uh, you know, I, unfortunately, it's like if, if I didn't have a producer in here. We'd still be, you know, trying to get through the first episode because I wouldn't know enough to unmute you guys. <laughs> you know, so it's like <laughs> Unamut? What does Unmut mean? Could somebody Google what Unmut means? Unmut. Anyway, so uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, everyone, give the shout outs, uh, give a little introduction who you are. I'm Dave. I'm from Rabbit Gorilla Records, and you can go to rabbitgorilla.com to find out more about Rabbit Gorilla Records. And links will be in the, in the description for anyone who's watching on YouTube. Tony, you're up. I'm uh, Lou Adler. I helped produce the Woodstock Festival back in 69. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is Tony Shannon from Cooperstone, the Reverend Cooperstone Badge and the uh, Church of the Holy Rollers. That's a mouthful and a half. Holy shit. It's like I need to go back to uh, broadcasting school for that one. So, um, uh, yeah, I should have thought it short. <laughs> right, I know, right? So, yeah, you, you. I think you came up with that name when you were, uh, when when uh, when vinyl was still in, probably. That was probably yeah, right. vinyl was around. You can just call vinyl me Reverend. <laughs> okay, Reverend. You got it. So, no, uh, the, the oh, Reverend. <laughs> oh, the Reverend. Sorry, the Reverend. My bad. My bad. So, um, uh, I'm pretty excited about uh, today's episode uh, because I think I may have picked a song that you guys actually might even like. I love your song. I don't know. I could be wrong. I like your I song. Do not any song that I don't know it in a while that I've loved them all. Yeah. I don't even remember which song I picked. I'll tell you later. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, and oh, and we have a, a new uh, segment starting today, which is the secret word. And Tony's it. You gotta you gotta guess the secret word, Tony. Oh, I always thought I had to avoid the secret word. No, you, you got. You, we got to try and get you to say it. That's the thing. Yeah, see, I'm just not even going to talk. <laughs> Doesn't know his song. Not going to try and get the secret word. It wasn't there yesterday from my birthday. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm very glad that we didn't uh, cast yesterday because I, I was just, uh, I, I slept late and, and I was just kind of in a uh, really. I wasn't even, I wasn't even that late. No, you weren't. We were going to start early, I think, weren't we? I, I don't even remember what time we were starting at. Maybe seven or something like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I had just ordered some Chinese food, though. I honestly don't remember. So, but you know, well, it's that's like, right. We do start late. We do start late because I, I, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, who cares? We're here now. Ready to it roll. It don't matter. We're all here. Hail, hail the game's all here. And. uh Today's songs <clears throat> are road songs, which is uniquely connected to the secret word. Uniquely. Uniquely. Very uniquely connected to the secret word, which Dave and I know, but Tony doesn't. Dave and I, I don't. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, who wants to go first? I think I went first last time, so Tony should go first, or you should go first. Either one of you, just not me. John, go ahead, John. All right, well, I picked Road to Nowhere. These are songs about the road. Um, and uh, I was uh, initially gonna pick, um, uh, I was initially gonna pick the, the Midnight Rambler by, by the Stones, but then I revisited it and I, I looked at the lyrics and it's not really about um, uh, someone who's a rambler. I think it's more about like a, some sort of a serial killer or like Jack the Ripper type. He breaks in your house. Uh, he's a gambler. They, they travel roads. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, I, I wound up uh, getting uh, The Road to Nowhere by the Talking Heads just because, you know, it's I think it's kind of poignant for, you know, today's situation. We're all kind of on this road to nowhere. You know, uh, it's like uh, it was a road song. It's roads right in the title, you know, and uh, I love the Talking Heads, you know, so. I almost picked that song myself, actually. That was right oh, up there. Oh, nice. Choice. Cool. Yeah, I love that tune, too. I, that whole album is so good. Well, Creatures. I, I just what else, like... what else is on the album? Uh, uh, nothing. 
is, is Naive Melody on that album? No, I think that's on Speaking in Tongues. Okay, yeah. So, um, uh, here I'll look. I'll look it up. Uh, Little Creatures. Little Creatures. I know there's a. They had a bunch of big hits on that album, and she was "Give Me Back My Name," "Creatures of Love," uh, "Lady Don't Mind," "Stay Up Late." Oh yeah, stay up stay late. Up late had the the music video with the baby. That yep. was a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the first time I'd ever gotten turned on to uh, Talking Heads was um, uh, "Burning Down the House" on MTV. And okay. I just remember being like. Um, that was when he started wearing the really oversized suits yeah and whatnot and, and just being like uh it, th there was something about it it's, it's like they came out of the punk scene but they didn't sound anything you know no they, they were definitely like anything their like their own their unique sound yeah so and uh, uh yeah i listened to them even years before that when fear music and psycho killer was their big guy yeah um, remember yeah, psycho killer I Psycho Killer is one of my favorites. I love Psycho Killer. And I, I love... Um, don't they okay. also do Lord of the Wartime? Yes. 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 Yep. Yeah. That's and, a great song. And uh, now, That's a good road song. Yeah. Could be. Could be a road song. I, I also... I don't know if you guys remember the movie Streets of Fire. Yeah. The, nope. I almost picked um, the- Why do you bring that up though? Because that was another song that I almost did because it was like, um, oh, okay. Nowhere Fast, Going Nowhere Fast was was a song off that. I don't know who exactly recorded it because it was, uh, the movie itself was um, a bunch of actors lip syncing as if they were in a band. And it was, okay. it was like one of those movies that, it was one of the first movies to come out that you were like, you couldn't tell if it was in the 50s or if it was in the future, it was kind of dystopian. There yeah. was like um, there was a lot of fights with axes. I remember that, and and uh, Willem Dafoe was in it. And yeah, I saw it when it first came out, but I don't remember it very well. I don't remember it at all. But I remember yeah. Diane Lane was hot as hell. Yes, yeah, that that was like um, that that was uh, like I, it was like her second or third movie. She was in The Outsiders, and then she was in that movie. The guy who played Eddie from Eddie and the Cruisers was in it as well. Okay. And um and then th there was the uh the three black guys singing the doo wop that it was like a huge hit. But it was like it turns out that it wasn't even the three black guys singing it. It was this guy Dan Hartman who was a white guy. Wow. And, he, and he had a follow up hit and it, and everyone's like, "Oh, Dan Hartman's like um uh song was I can dream about you if I can't can hold you tonight." Yeah. And yeah. then he, he came yeah. out with a follow-up single and everyone was like, what happened to Three Black Guys? <laughs> because they were the ones who sang it in the movie, but they were just actors, you know, so. But anyway, so. Good choice, good choice for a song. So yeah, and yes, and you guys liked it. We're on once. the road to nowhere. <laughs> I did like it. Yes, so. Um, so I'm gonna hand it off to, Tony, do you remember what song you, I don't remember what song I even chose. Okay. It was Me and Paul by Willie Nelson. Oh, Me and Paul. Great tune, man. Mm -hmm. Very good tune. I, I didn't know it before I, you chose it, but I listened to it. And, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Willie anyway. So. Yeah, Willie's an American treasure. He certainly is. What was that? Um, was that a sound effect, Tony? No, that was somebody actually driving by. That's <laughs> all, day, all day long with the damn motor scooters, man. Oh, I wish really? I was. I wish I was 18 again. <laughs> right. So yeah, motor damn kids, get off my lawn. Uh, what's that? I said, damn kids, get off my lawn. I know, right? So man yells at cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I like me and Paul. I'd never heard it before either. I, I thought it was kind of ironic that Paul's Willie's drummer, and it's like a completely acoustic set. Yeah. I, I like the. I like the line about the. Up in Buffalo, and they, they don't remember if they even went on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> that was, Willie, Willie probably had, had, had a good connect. Willie probably had, had a good connect in those days and still don't oh, yeah. imagine, you know. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, I almost went with a joint cash tune. 
uh, I bet every way I'm in. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really say anything. It just lists a bunch of towns, you know? Right. Right. And you picked a Johnny Cash one for the last song, for the last episode. So we would have uh, made fun of you for that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Starting to get a little redundant, getting a little bit old. So sorry. So, well, that's what so what's your Johnny was? Cash song for this week, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so yeah, me, me too, bro. Yep. <laughs> I was good all day, so getting good and high for this one. Not me. I'm straight edge. <laughs> Yeah, to keep a straight face saying that, you know. <laughs> but um, uh, I could be straight edge so easily, but <laughs> I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. There's not. Uh, you, made me, you made me laugh while I was fucking inhaling. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the uh, I. I could probably be straight edge too, but I, I like um, I like well, all of a sudden I'm really pink too much. So. What's that? All of a sudden I'm really pink. You okay? <laughs> you want me to call nine one one? I'm sorry. I was smoking weed and made me laugh. <laughs> Fucking Dave, she said. <laughs> Fucking Dave. Fucking Dave. Uh, <laughs> Dave, have you heard the um the, the rumors that Dave is the male version of Karen now? Oh no. no! Have you been hearing no, this? No, no, Chad. It's yeah. Chad. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Chad is a, a much better Karen, a male Karen than Dave is. I think. I think yeah. Dave is like. Dave's know, not here, of, man. We're all Dave's. We're, Dave's all of not us are here, Dave. man. Dave, Dave's a cool guy. It's like Dave isn't like you know. A, Dave's a good guy. Yeah, this is free Chad. Chad's the asshole. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to speak to the manager, please. Please. There was a rubber next to my. That other kind of lettuce. My, uh, I've ever asked to talk to a manager. My 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 sure, waitress yeah. uh, did not ask me about my allergies before. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 and then he hits on her. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> Chad. Even worse. You, Fucking yeah, Chad. Being hit on by a Chad is like basically, you know, you, you know, it's something. I know. Like, I've been hit on by a Chad. So something tells me there's a there's a special kit involved afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, chance to have date rape face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> All right, last but not least, Dave, your song was uh, my song was America by Simon and Garfunkel, a real hard rock dude. Excellent tune. Clapping? All right, good. excellent tune. We all liked each other's songs this week. This is uh, uh, very unique. I'm gonna have to see oh, some Discord. Here. There's, there's none. There's none. It's gonna have to be a, to be continued. You know what I mean? Like, like w one of us, one of us is gonna have to get frozen in carbonite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens next time. So, uh, but uh, I, I really liked it too. Um, one of the first comments. Uh, America by Simon Garfunkel. I Wikipedia, Wikipedia did, did, did it, <laughs> and uh, it was based on a uh, Paul Simon wrote it, of course, and he went on a. a hitchhiking trip with his girlfriend Kathy mm -hmm. uh, in September of 1964 and he ended up with that song and Kathy's song yeah he wrote Kathy's song about Kathy yeah she was British so I know I know that uh, I'm, I'm familiar with Kathy's song Kathy's song I, is like probably the most beautiful love song ever written I, well I mean opinion. it's Paul Simon yeah. I mean, Paul Simon's like, I, like I was raised on Paul Simon. Like I can remember the Bridge Over Troubled Waters vinyl thing when I was like maybe three, four years old. My parents would play it nonstop. Bridge Over Troubled Waters, by the way. Willie Nelson and Paul Simon singing that together. Fan fucking fantastic. Oh, I'm going to have to Google Willie that. did it? What's that? Did you say Willie did it? Willie did it with Paul Simon. Oh, oh wow. There's, a, du up. There's a duet on YouTube. You check it out. Oh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I was, uh, I, I really liked that song too. I'd never heard it before, or maybe I did when I was younger, but you yeah, know, I probably didn't remember it. And um, I, uh, I just remember reading in, in, in the comments, someone mentioned like it, it's like uh, a perfect lyrical representation of what it's like to have anxiety. And I was like, yeah, oh, I read okay. that too. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is, you know, this is pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah I, I wrote that. <laughs> 
<laughs> are you planting? Are, are you planting ideas in my head, man? Are you part of the M MK Ultra program? Is that is that what little, this is? All little. right, I gotta go. <laughs> oh no, no, no. lost Tony. <laughs> they found me out. I gotta go. He's gotta go. Uh, do you guys know the band? You. Yes. Yes. They no. Do, they do a cover of that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they really, they really put their own take on it. It's well, very, very who good. Who does? Yes. Who? Yes. Not the guess who. who. Not the who. Guess who? Guess who? The guess who? I'm not playing no. this game, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Next, um, you, you guys are pushing me. Next week, I, I'm gonna like do do something by the band of the, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I'll do the band. The band, the band is another good one, you know. So, so, and uh, what, what were some other bands like named after things like them or uh, the us, them, and the guess who, the just what you needed. What is it? Dave says, What? Um, I guess it's just what I needed, you know, that song. Oh, that's the cards, that's the cards. I need someone to be. I wanted Tony to say it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that halfway through, and I was like, <laughs> "I know the word." <laughs> oh boy! Oh damn it! Uh, oh, this is this is what happened. Tony wins. Tony wins. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Tony won. To well, Tony, do you have um? Do, do you have something that we have to guess? Did you? Did you? Uh, oh, I did Google a lot. Yeah. Right. Um, let's see. Can, I, can you, you can't use clues? Google on it? You can't use Google. Yeah. No. No. All right. I'm gonna shut down my my camera here for a second so I can read my Wikipedia number. Okay. okay. So if I start looking ugly or something, just let me know. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't fucking read that. All right. Oh man, here I'm gonna read now. All right. Let's see, uh, hmm. It was like, uh, initially it was cast in 1971. So it's a movie or a TV yeah, show? It's a movie. Hmm. Is it Jaws? But it took a very long time to film. There's actually one scene where the guy opens the door and they didn't film him walking through the door for another year. What are you guys talking about? I missed something here. Remember, we were going to do the secret word, and then somebody was going to have so somebody had to, we we had to try and get whoever was it to say the secret word, and whoever was it had to pick a movie, a TV show, music, song, whatever, and give us clues, and we have to try and guess oh, what it is. Okay, yeah, I kind of remember that. Yeah. All right. So, is it Apocalypse Now? I'm sorry. Apocalypse Now. It is not. Okay. It. I mean, I guess you could classify it as horror, but it's not classic horror. Hmm. Um. You know the director. I don't know if you've ever seen this particular movie. Dave probably has. I've seen um, movies. The director grew up. Part of the childhood was spent in Washington State, and part was spent in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. His, his lifetime in Philadelphia was very unhappy. Hmm. His lifetime in, in Washington was very happy. It's made him into a very good director because he sees things from both sides. Uh, is it Julie oh, Collins? I've seen the world this, from both sides now. No, okay. This, this movie was partially funded by Sissy Spacek. Ah, Honeysuckle Rose. Oh, no, I bet I know it. Uh, Coal Miner's Daughter? What was the name of that one? Or Carrie? Oh, no. Horror Light, not classic horror. See, what other movies did he do? Let me see. I'll name a couple other movies that he's done. Hmm. Was it Brian De Palmer? It was not. Okay. Are we supposed to name the director or the film? You're supposed to name the film. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you a hint towards the director. Is it John Carpenter? It is not. Damn it. Carrie? You might, you might know Elephant Man. 
Ah. Lou Balvin. Okay, yep. David, David Lynch. Lynch. Okay, so a racer head. David That's Lynch. it. Ah. Oh. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Go far a light. Yeah. So I know that movie very well. Yes. I don't... Yeah. He started that in college and then got the funding to complete it afterwards. Exactly. I like David Lynch. And Sissy Space finance it. Sissy SpaceX put up some money for that? Wow. Her and her boyfriend at the time or her husband at the time, yeah. That's very interesting. So Wow. What a freak. Well, right. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Can you imagine not having like movies like Blue Velvet or Mulholland Drive or Twin I Peaks know. and stuff like that? I, I mean, David Lynch is um, like just his whole style of like messing with people and and and. Uh, now I've seen a race ahead, and I think it's a terrible movie. Right. Well, but, check out the. Uh, there's a short he's got on Netflix right now called "What Did Jack Do," and it's the whole thing is a. Uh, uh, a monkey being interrogated by a police officer. It's so fucking good. <laughs> it, it is pretty funny. Okay, I'll have to watch that. I'll watch that. Uh, he's uh, probably one of my favorite movies by him was Mulholland Drive. I thought that was a good one. Uh, and um, th there was um, Wild at Heart. Was Wild at Heart was another good one. I thought that was just really funny. Like yeah. I, I, I just couldn't like like uh, like Billy Bo Billy Brazil or, or or Billy Baloo, I think I forget um, his name or Bobby Brazil Bobby Brazil that was his name uh, Willem Dafoe played Bobby Brazil <laughs> and I just I just remember thinking that that's Bobby awesome. Peru Bobby Peru Bobby Peru okay yeah so yeah, yeah. it was Bobby Peru <laughs> some South American country yeah some yeah. South American country that's right it's like. I, I just, you know, I put, Hi, I'm, um, I'm Tony Araguay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Johnny Chile. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave Columbia. <laughs> Dave Columbia is a cool name, actually. It's a cool name, yeah. So it sounds like a, a private eye. Like, you know, like I knew, I knew the minute this dame walked in, she was trouble. <laughs> like, Hi, I'm Chad Galapagos. I'm Chad Galapagos. Jay who? Chad Galapagos. Chad Galapagos. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Chad Galapagos. Oh, that, that's a good one. That's that's one for the uh, for the Darwinian books there. Chad Galapagos. Oh, nice, nice. Ho, 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 ho. So, I'm gonna uh, drive over there right now. I'm gonna get right inside my vehicle. Don't don't rub it in, dude. I'm gonna get in my vehicle and I drive over there. <laughs> In your vehicle? Uh, my my vehicle. vehicle. Yeah. Cheap. <laughs> it's like, I, I kind of feel like, um, I, I feel a lot like uh, Dr. Frankenstein right now because the whole like secret word idea was mine and it's like my monster just came back to like, you know, kill me and everything like that. I'll probably <laughs> say, I'll probably say the word before this is over, but now that I know what the word is. Right. No, I know. So, well. Well, I, obviously, I did a great job of, like, you know, dropping hints. Oh, that's the Cars, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Like, how do you not know that? Like, we've had the Cars on the podcast. I mean, seriously. <laughs> We're from Boston, you know? I think I've discussed that particular song before. That's why they used it. Right. Oh, yeah. boy. Or what you, um, it, it was uh, the, the Fast Times at Ridgemont High scene. The, uh, um, it wasn't, uh, uh, um, was it? Oh God! That's a different. That's a different song by them. The best yeah. friend's girlfriend. Yes. No. 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 Well. well. Um, Living in stereo was the one we had on the podcast. That's right. right. Yes. Yeah. Right. That 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 was a song. So, but you know, um, so uh, I have a couple of announcements to make. I don't know what would. Okay. You know, if you guys are down here and everything, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Matt Wells. I'm getting married. Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> she doesn't know. I, I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't do that on the on the podcast because, like, what if she says no? You know what I mean? And then it's like I got to broadcast, like, you know, my humiliation all over the internet. Dude. Two terrible humiliations over the internet. First off, giving away the secret word, and second, dude, she's like. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Gotta do it, do it for the clicks, baby. Do it right, for the clicks. right. Gotta do it for the clicks. 
but um, my, uh, my, my friend Matt Welsh uh, has been working on this project for about uh, two years or so. Um, he just released his, um, his uh, he's got, uh, is it seven or eight songs, man? Matt Walsh, seven. He's got seven songs coming out and they are, um, he's releasing them once every season or so or once a month. He's, he's going to be releasing them over the next. And he just released the first one yesterday. He's been work. Oh, the second one. Was that the second one? I thought that was the first one. Released the second one. We released the second one yesterday. And uh, he's, um, it's, it's a pretty cool video. I'll, I'll uh, send a link to it uh, down below like everything else. And next week, I'm hoping if she's uh, able to um, make time for it and everything, we're going to have another guest on. Her name is uh, Lauren Loguidice. I hope I'm not butchering her name. But uh, she's from Queens, New York. She's a comedian, and uh, she's pretty excited to uh, jump on the podcast and you know, and uh, get into our thing. She's got a podcast of her own, so she's independent, and uh, she's looking for other podcasts to guest on and have. What, what's have what's our podcast? Uh, I'd have to look into that. I, I, I'll put a link to it down below, and I'll send you the link. Yeah, yeah, because I want to check it out. I, uh, yeah, me too. After recent. Yeah. Search it so I'm able to harass her. I don't want to go into this blind. No, no, yeah. we, we certainly don't. We, we certainly don't want to go into a blind. But yeah, she's a comedian. She's an actress. Um, and uh, she's launching a podcast. And we just happened to be chit-chatting in, uh, I think it was a TikTok group that uh, she... Uh, and I got to get on there with you kids, man. I, yeah, all you K-pop kids. I honestly haven't really, I haven't done anything on TikTok <laughs> at all. It, it's like I do a lot more on K-pop, yeah. Like you finally figured out that's not a band, huh? Yeah, <laughs> today, earlier today, that happened. That's, it's a whole yeah, movement. I, I thought it was a car. <laughs> oh! 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 Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice indeed. So, <laughs> on that note, I think we should end it. So yeah, let's let's end it up. Uh, thanks again to Dave from uh, Rabbit Gorilla Records. Thanks again to the Reverend Cooperstone Badge from the Church of the Holy Rollers. And uh, as always, thanks again to my producer Melanie Stardust. Thanks, I'm Melanie. John, I'm John thanks, from Rock Branded. Uh, all links will be in the descriptions and everything. And uh, thanks for tuning in, anyone who's tuning in. Oh, and thanks to uh, to um, Anchor for supporting this podcast. Thank you, Anchor. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Anchor. Uh, cool. All right. All right, cool. Cool. We got about 10 minutes to do. Good show.